Starfield, the next game in Bethesda's arsenal. As you probably already know, it's a game in space, or rather, kind of in space. I played a little bit of it, and I only brought together a few things that I think are not that good. Fuck off. It's probably a really good game overall, but these few things was expected of a space game. But the conclusion is, this is not a space game. It's literally just an RPG played out in kind of space. I'm sure the only reason I could progress in the speed I did was because of the previous knowledge of how Bethesda games would sure work. And uh, it does work similar to other titles from Bethesda. But this also tells me that people that has never played any of their games will most likely struggle for a lot longer to get past certain things. I played like normal for a bit, but I did get stuck at points where I had to use my map to travel. Uh, the, th the quest told me to go to a location or a person, I don't really know, but there was nothing telling me where that would be. So I kept looking around and accidentally, with my previous knowledge, I found it. A tiny itty bitty quest marker telling me where to go, but only in one tab. With this, I can only complain about the lack of quest knowledge and the whole map system. Quests in Skyrim at least tell you with some detail where something is, and older games used to only, only use descriptions without quest markers to find a specific objective. But this seems totally ignored now. It's gone. Travel here is not enough in my opinion. At least give me a quest marker on every tab or on the tab that I need to find to be able to get to the right planet. I didn't really pay attention when I leveled either, I didn't really see it, and there is no such thing that's like, hey, you have another skill, which I found out after attempting to use my jetpack, but being unable to, because apparently it's a skill you need to spec into, which is very weird. And this time around we got a bunch of NPCs, but as to be expected from games in general, you won't be interacting with most of them, because there is random no-names, but that's okay. Kind of annoying, but at the same time, I don't know what NPCs are important, and I don't know which of them matters. But I'm fairly sure that most do not matter. I'm not here for the NPCs, I'm here for the game. But here comes the space bits of the game. It's literally only orbital space travel because you're too slow. You won't be able to fly like in Elite Dangerous because there is no super speed. But everything also has a loading screen. So that's fun. So traveling from one place to another is like you hop into your ship and sit down, which then you load with a loading screen into the orbital area. Then you choose where to go, which is also then another loading screen. Now you are in the other planet's orbit, and what do you do there? Well, you click on the planet again and another loading screen. Um, but apparently there's no wall to other planets and systems, so you can travel manually. But because of how the game works, without having like super drive or whatever it's called, it would take way too long. So you can essentially do it if you scripted some stuff in the console, but then I don't really know how that would break the game really. So I would not really do that if I were you. Um, but the only good thing about all this is that fast travel works. So when you have done the tedious bit of travel, you can just go there instantly, like in old Bethesda games. So you can go from city to city, instantly. So that's good. And I hope they would remove the space bits altogether. Even the space combat is boring, but yeah, uh, I've always hated space combat previous to this, so I might just be partially inclined to dislike it from experience anyways. But yeah, um, you can try the game out for yourself. Uh, personally, I will probably play it through and through. Not sure how much I will, because it's a Bethesda game, mods will come, and there will be a bunch of stuff. But I do prefer fantasy to both Fallout and Starfield, to be honest. So I'm still waiting for the next Elder Scrolls. Anyways, guys, uh, this has been all the negative stuff that I found about the game uh, from playing it for a little bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.